The European Parliament accuses President Poroshenko of a church schism to win the presidential election. Ukrainian is an artificial language constructed by the USSR. And five years of relentless fakes about Crimea. This is Stop Fake, the place where we set the record straight on fakes about Ukraine. And I'm your host, Marco Supran. So let's get to it. The creation of a schismatic church in Ukraine is directly related to the upcoming presidential election and the re-election campaign of President Petro Poroshenko declared RT on February 26, claiming that a recent analysis by the European Parliamentary Research Service think tank arrived at exactly such a conclusion. RT claims that EU analysts are convinced that Poroshenko provoked the church schism to create a non-canonical church, the Orthodox Church of Ukraine, the OCU, in order to deceive the electorate and get some extra points for a presidential race. Poroshenko made the church schism the basis of his election campaign and his political survival. His success depends on how much he can deceive the voters by replacing the country's national idea with a church schism, RT writes. A study by the European Parliamentary Research Service entitled Religion and Geopolitics, Orthodox Split Weakens Russia's Influence, published on the official parliamentary website on February 18, examines how Ukraine's Orthodox Church finally achieved independence from the Russian Orthodox Church, the ROC. The study stresses that the Kremlin has always control church issues and use the ROC abroad as an instrument of soft power to promote its political interests. The report points out that Ukraine's church has been moving towards independence from Russia since 1992, with all presidents except disgraced pro-Russian Yanukovych actively pursuing religious independence or autocephaly. The successful autocephaly campaign could boost President Poroshenko's chances of re-election, the report notes, but first and foremost, the formation of the new Orthodox Church of Ukraine is significant for Ukraine's national identity and its nation-building process. Responding to an article by Ukrainian Foreign Minister Pavlo Klimkin about the establishment of the Independent Orthodox Church of Ukraine in the Portuguese website Observador, the Russian version of RT, accused the Ukrainian politician of dividing fraternal nations and announced that Ukrainian was an artificial language created in the Soviet Union. RT cites Russian philologist Pavel Borodin, who claims that the Ukrainian language was a completely artificial Soviet construct. They lumped it together and started using it as every republic in the USSR had to have a literature. Even if they say that Ukrainian exists today as a literary language, this is the legacy of the Soviet Union, Borodin declared. Now, according to the Encyclopedia Britannica, modern literary Ukrainian originated from the spoken Ukrainian language at the end of the 18th century. Ukrainian has a large number of words borrowed from Polish, but it has fewer words from Old Church Slavonic than the Russian language. After the establishment of communist rule in Ukraine, a period of Ukrainianization followed in the 1920s, increasing the usage of the Ukrainian language and promoting other elements of of Ukrainian culture and public life. The policy was used by the Bolsheviks to increase their popularity. Ukrainianization came to an abrupt end, followed by mass repressions against all aspects of Ukrainian culture. Further Soviet language policies were aimed at squeezing out Ukrainian language and public life altogether and making it closer to Russian through enforced grammar and syntax changes. Borodin's claim also does not hold up to historic scrutiny. If Ukrainian is an artificial 20th century construct, why did Imperial Tsarist Russia issue two edicts, one in 1863 and another in 1876, banning education and the publication of books in Ukrainian? Five years have passed since Russia annexed Ukraine's Crimean Peninsula at the point of a gun. The international community has never recognized Moscow's land grab and continues to respond to this act of aggression by maintaining sanctions that impact on Russia's economy. Five years of occupation have given rise to a plethora of fakes about Crimea, the main direction of which are claims that Russian ownership of Crimea is recognized by other countries, that tourists are flocking to the warm peninsula in record numbers, and that Ukrainians are always concocting plans to invade Crimea, stir up unrest, and enlist a terrorist campaign on the peninsula. Official recognition of Russian annexation is a done deal. This wishful thinking theme gets resurrected every time some European Kremlin loving low rank politician or self proclaimed goodwill ambassador visits Crimea. Germany supports Crimea, Norway recognizes Crimea as Russian, and so on and so forth. Needless to say, there have been no official visits to Crimea by anyone in the last five years, and claims that the world has made its peace with Russia biting off a piece of Ukrainian territory is wishful 
wishful thinking. Last December, a highly placed source in Russian diplomatic circles declared that Ukraine was about to launch a land offensive in Crimea during the Christmas period. A few months before that, in October 2018, Sputnik RT and company declared that Ukraine was preparing acts of sabotage in Crimea, but Russians were just too strong and clever to allow anything of that sort to actually take place. And of course, there was that fake terrorist campaign to destabilize the peninsula. And then there are the tourists flocking to Crimea in record numbers. And starting back as early as 2014, Ukrainians were allegedly flooding Crimea in huge numbers. More vacationers descended on Crimea than ever before, beating even Soviet records when Crimea was the only Florida-type vacation destination in the USSR. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Stop Fake debunked all of these claims, which ultimately are what the Colonel Potter character in the very popular 1980 series MASH innocently referred to as Horse Hockey! <laughs>